They come in, they ram it with their nose. Right, just to get it out of there. And now for a closer look at today's tackle, Delaware Valley Outdoors presents the Tackle Box. For more information about the tackle used on today's show, go to DelawareValleyOutdoors.com. Well, Steve, we're over here at Carnegie Lake. Let me tell you, it's a beautiful lake. It's electric only. Matter of fact, look behind us there, we got rowers and stuff like that. This is a great lake right outside of Princeton, and it's, a, it's just wonderful fishery. It, it really is a good lake, Bob. It doesn't get a ton of fishing pressure. Um, it's an electric motor only lake, uh, so you can't crank up your big outboard, but if you have a boat with a bigger outboard like we do, mm -hmm. you just can't use it, right. okay? Uh, it's a very long lake. You know, it's several miles long. Yep. It, you could fish a whole day here and, and really not get bored with where you're at. No, you could just do the whole lake in one day and just come right back and you, you'd be finished for the day. And a lot of good structure, blow downs, pads, you got everything you want. There's a little bit of everything. You know, there's chunk rock, uh, people that like to flip and pitch. You know, there's lots of lay downs, there's pads, um, there, there's open bank. And one of the neat things is, you know, if you don't want to come here bass fishing, there's big carp, catfish, perch. crappies. We caught perch today. Okay. The, the lake's really got a lot of fish in it. Well, the, the baits that we use today, or I should say you caught the fish on today, <laughs> Was this little bait right here? Tell me about this bait, Steve. Right, it's a little bandit crankbait. It's uh, a color similar, similar to like a citrus shad, or I think they might call it citrus. Mm -hmm. uh, blue back, chartreuse, white belly. Um, the lake has really good water color, uh, and when I when I say that, we have about a eh, foot, foot and a half visibility today. Yeah. And when the water's stained enough that we need that kind of, you know, chartreuses and 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 bright colors. Uh, just to help the fish kind of cue on it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we saw like the little shad and stuff today. They have a blue back, shiny on the sides. So it, it's a pretty good imitation. And now you had a real shallow diver here. Right. And why is that? Well, most of the lake, uh, the boat's sitting in five, six feet of water, but most of your cast is in three, four feet of water. Uh, there are lots of lay downs. Uh, you want to remember that when you're fishing a crankbait around a lot of wood and stuff, number one, you probably want to go up the heavier line. But number two is don't get excited, don't get in a rush when you're reeling the crankbait through the cover. You have to kind of finesse it through, you know, and you're going to get snagged. We got snagged a couple dozen times yeah. today. But we got them out, yeah. Yeah, we got most of them out except for the one bait you lost. I did lose one, that's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, it was my bait, you know. I know. That's why I'm happy about losing <laughs> it. <laughs> but these, these do go through wood a lot more than you would think. Yes, easy. yes. And the other thing is sharp hooks. Sure. You know, you, you we're really not crushing the fish with the hook set like you would on a plastic worm or a jig where you really have to, to drive the hook home. Mm -hmm. The fish comes up, grabs it, turns sideways, and it pretty much hooks itself. And the other bait that uh, you had today was, was this spinner bait. Now let's talk a little bit about the blade color and the size and stuff. Like yeah, that. well that's a, a 3 8 ounce spinner bait. Um, a lot of times in a lake with uh, smaller fish or clear water, you might want to downsize the quarter ounce. Mm -hmm. um, but this spinnerbait has a unique skirt in that it's got scales on part of the skirt and the other part of the skirt doesn't. So it almost emulates a bait fish. Um, went with Colorado blades. Uh, the Colorado blade allows you to throw it out and reel it slower, but keep it up higher in the water column to where if you were throwing a willow blade, mm -hmm. It doesn't give off as much vibration, and you have to reel it faster, faster to keep it up. Exactly, and with cooler, shallow water, for me, I go with the Colorado blades. Now, how about color? I mean, everybody's got their preference. You have uh, silver and uh, gold here. What you like that just for this kind type of year, or this is what you go through usually? What I normally go by is in very clear water, I'll fish straight silver or nickel. Mm -hmm. If the water's off color, I like to have either gold and nickel or maybe copper and nickel, especially when you have high blue skies like we do today. Now, if it was cloudy, I would go over to like a pair of golds mm -hmm. or a pair of copper blades and maybe even a hammered type finish mm -hmm. because that would give you, as, as the hammering rotates, mm -hmm. it gives you a lot more light reflection. And size-wise? 
I that's a three eighths. It's mm -hmm. a good all around cult size. Um, one of the big things though is that trailer hook hanging on the back. That's one thing it did help today. Almost every fish we caught today had both hooks, but the trailer hook most of the time is what you need. So when you're out spinnerbait fishing, use that trailer hook, and that's the tackle box. Right. Yeah. Nice fish. Yeah. Oh, this one's got it good too. I'm gonna yeah. give him the, the lift. Lift. Fatty. There you go. Look, Look at fish. that belly. Look. Think that one's getting ready to spawn soon? Look at that belly. Wow. God. Look at that. That's where nice fat fish. Pop open. Yep. And you could tell that fish really wanted it because the bait was right across the right side of the that. mouth. So he just come in there and. And there was no doubt about that one. Yeah. What a good yeah. fish. Yeah. Hey, even want to thank you for taking me out here and catching those fish on that thing. Hey, I'm Bob Murray. Delaware Valley Outdoors. Don't forget to go to our website, Delaware Valley Outdoors. And we had all kinds of stuff, fishing reports and uh, YouTube stuff. Stop by and see us. All right, Stevie. Okay. Now, the only thing that would make it better is if I had a house on a lake. I could just nap right on the dock. It's a spring one, too. Yep. Fatness. They wallow a lot. Yeah. yeah. Other times of the year, you know, they'd be jumping. Yeah. Yeah. yeah not yeah. this time of year. Whew. Look at that. Left them go. Shook his head and spit it, huh? Yep. Whew. The, their pain would get him in boat. Not everybody can boat them, you know. Yeah. Takes a simple. There's a white perch for you. Boy, are they big today. Yeah. Ooh, yellow perch. <laughs> I like that uh, little bait. They're slamming this little guy, kind of like a citrus shad color. And you know, we're fishing a citrus shad to kind of emulate the shad that are in the lake. I think we'll get some bigger ones. Which to the crank. Oh, I lost them. I didn't see anything. Did he have a fish? 